All right, here's the bottom part of our notes. This is for when we are, so we just finished converting from polar to rectangular. So now we'll do from rectangular to polar. So rectangular is when you're given standard x, y, and we want to convert those two coordinates to polar with a r and a theta. So again, we have our generic triangle to this point right here. So in order to do that, um, well, okay, first, imagine that we have this circle that the point is on. Here's our origin. Here's our radius to that point. Here's the angle created, um, our theta. And then we also have the horizontal and vertical distance to that point as well. And so what we are looking for is a way to relate r to x to y. And because this is a right triangle, we can use Pythagorean theorem to do that. So r squared will equal x squared plus y squared. And then to solve for r, we can square root both sides, giving me r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. Why this is great is because if we already know x and y, because we're given the rectangular coordinates, we just plug it in and we can find the radius that we need for our polar coordinates. And then trying to find theta in terms of x and y that we have already been given, that's the opposite of theta and the adjacent of theta, so we can use the tangent identity for that, y over x. Now we're trying to actually solve for theta itself, so we just do inverse tan to both sides, so inverse tan cancels out tan, leaving me theta is going to be equal to the inverse tan or arctan of whatever y over x is. So remember, when you're taking the inverse tangent of something, you're asking yourself what theta has y over x as its tangent value. You're not calculating the tangent of y over x. You're saying what angle has tangent equal to y over x. So we have these two problems down here. Um, and the directions right here say to find the polar coordinates of the following rectangular points. Um, and I want you to add something here because your homework is going to ask you this and I want to be sure we practice it right here. We're going to find one point for where r is greater than zero, that means it's positive, and one point for where r is less than zero, that means it's negative. So we're actually going to do b first because a is a, something different that I want to talk about in a second. So. We have our x and our y. To start off finding our, our value, remember we have this formula that we derived, the square root of x squared plus y squared. So we're going to plug in my x, negative 1, squared, plus my y, negative radical 3 squared. So negative 1 squared means negative 1 times itself. The sign is positive. So positive 1, same thing here, negative rad 3 squared, negative times negative is positive, and square cancels out square root, leaving me 3. That gives me square root of 4, which is 2, so I have my r value. And then to calculate theta, theta is equal to arctan of y over x. My y is negative rad 3 over x is negative 1. Negative divided by negative is positive. Rad 3 over 1 is just rad 3. So what you're going to do is figure out which theta has a tangent of radical 3. And what you might remember about your unit circle is that there will be two angles that have a tangent value of radical 3, of positive radical 3. Um, there's one right here at pi over 3 and one here at 4 pi over 3. So the question is, which one do you need? So what we're going to do is draw a reference triangle of our original point to see where our, which quadrant that point is in. So if I have this point, negative 1, negative radical 3, 
that's negative negative, that point is going to be here in this quadrant. So that tells me that the theta I need is this one in this quadrant, 4 pi over 3. So theta is equal to 4 pi over 3. So my first point where r is positive or greater than 0 is r is 2, theta 4 pi over 3. So now the negative version of that when r is negative 2, so this is what we talked about earlier. So here's my, the entire line at that angle. So this direction is when r is positive 2, this direction is when r is negative 2, and that angle is pi over 3. So when r is negative 2, my theta is pi over 3. Now the reason why I wanted to save this one for a second is because we can actually work smarter, not harder here, and we can avoid this work and because it's on an axis. So if I draw my point, my original point at negative 5, 0, so it's not a triangle, right? So I don't have a reference triangle, so I don't actually need to do this math. I can just um, kind of like use my common sense a little bit, right? Radius here is... So imagine that the circle is going through here. My radius there the, is the length of that distance is a positive 5, and the angle measure there is theta. So when my r is positive, my polar coordinates are 5 theta. But then when I want the opposite direction, when I want are negative 5, I'm going to go, thank you, this way. So at negative 5, that's going to give me an angle or a theta at 2 pi. And that's